Hey folks, JR, back for another episode of Echoes of Shannon Street Case File. It's going to be episode 48, Bleeding and Death, Autopsy of Larnell Sanders. Folks, don't forget now, click on that subscribe button We're down in the description. Click on the link, follow my podcast, follow me on Twitter. Go over to the Facebook site, my website, buy you a copy of the book, copy of the documentary. All right, folks, let's get into this autopsy. Folks, what you see here is an actual drawing made by Dr. Harlan of the medical examiner's office. He had to do him, obviously, some type of little drawing. So when he got back to the office, he'd have a reference point. And of course, while he's there, they don't know the identity of any of the bodies. That's why he did that lettering and number system that I've mentioned before, starting with A1 going all the way to G7. Now, you've all seen this crime scene drawing more than once. This is the six of the seven suspects. This is the Northwest bedrooms. You can see the letter and numbering system, A1 through F6. Now I've identified uh, each of the bodies with their name and their letter and number. The autopsies went in order. So as you can see, Larnell Sanders, A1, was the first autopsy, and that's the order they went in. Tennessee Department of Public Health, Office of the Chief Medical Examiner. Case number A8338. Autopsy report, Larnell Sanders, male black, 26, lived at 2239 Shannon. Chief Medical Examiner, J.T. Francisco, M.D. Hugh Stanton, Jr. was the Attorney General. Anatomical diagnosis, gunshot wound to head, entry at gunshot wound B, bullet traversing brain, bullet fragments recovered. Number two, gunshot wounds to chest, entry at gunshot wound A, gunshot wound C, gunshot wound D, bullets traversing to the lungs, thyroid, esophagus, aorta, trachea, left subclavian artery, multiple bullet fragments recovered. Number three, left hemothorax, Cause of death, multiple gunshot wounds to chest and head. Narrative of findings. This 26-year-old black male received multiple high-velocity, small-caliber gunshot wounds, three, to the chest and one to the head, producing extensive injury to the brain, lungs, thyroid, esophagus, aorta, trachea, and left subclavian artery bleeding and death. Blood alcohol level is negative. The urine drug screen is positive. Active ingredient is marijuana. And yes, folks, by the way, I'm not even going to try to pronounce tetrahydrocannabinol. Autopsy protocol. Autopsy number alpha 83-38. Name, Larnell Sanders, black male, 26, date, hour of autopsy, 1-14-83, 1300 hours, that's 1 p.m. Pathologist, doctors Francisco, Bell, Harlan, checked by J.T. Francisco, M.D., date completed, 2-14-83, final pathological diagnosis, primary series, multiple gunshot wounds. Gunshot wound to head, entry at gunshot wound B, 66 inches above heel, bullet traversing brain right and left frontal lobes, bullet fragments recovered, bullet traversing right to left. Number one, multiple skull fractures. B, gunshot wounds to chest, entries at gunshot wound A, 53 inches above heel, Gunshot wound C, 53 inches above heel, 
and gunshot wound D, 52 and a half inches above heel, bullets traversing right lung, thyroid, esophagus, aorta, left subclavian artery, trachea, left lung, multiple bullet fragments recovered, bullets traversing right to left, left hemothorax, and then laboratory findings, of course, again, positive for marijuana, tetrahydrocannabinol. Autopsy protocol, 135 pounds, five foot nine, Arnell Sanders. Shows left pleural cavity, gunshot wound, right pleural cavity, gunshot wound, thyroid, gunshot wound, trachea, gunshot wound. I uh, continue in showing aorta, gunshot wound of aorta, and right subclavian artery. Lungs, right lung, gunshot wound two times, left lung, gunshot wound, gunshot wound to the mucosa. Sinuses, gunshot wound, fractures. Brain, gunshot wound, right and left frontal lobe. There's the wound chart. I've got the gunshot wounds marked with uh, red, so it's better able to identify them. Now you can see here on the wound chart, it, just going over again the uh, bullets, their direction, and the distance from heel to where the gunshot wound hit. And as you can see, the Whichever officer was firing, he would have been on the right side of Larnell Sanders because all the bullets went from right to left through the body. Larnell Sanders, microscopic summary. Heart, unremarkable. Lungs, sections show large areas of collapse of alveolar spaces. There are areas of parenchymal disruption with associated intra- alveolar hemorrhage in the areas of disruption. Scattered throughout, some sections are particles of granular black material. Liver, sections show minimal diffuse vacuolar degeneration of hepatocytes. Gunshot wound A, chest, sections show disruption of epidermis and dermis with coagulation of dermal collagen and hemorrhage into dermis and subcutaneous adipose tissue. Gunshot wound B, head. Sections show disruption of epidermis and dermis with coagulation of dermal collagen and deposition of small particles of granular black material in dermis along the bullet tract. Gunshot wound C, chest. Sections show disruption of epidermis and dermis with coagulation of dermal collagen, hemorrhage into dermis and subcutaneous adipose tissue, and deposition of particles of granular black material in epidermis and dermis. Gunshot wound D. Sections show disruption of epidermis and dermis with marked coagulation of dermal collagen and deposition of numerous particles of granular black material on epidermis and in dermis. Recommendation and order for autopsy, date 1-1483. As provided by Chapter 174 of the Public Acts of Tennessee, 1961, the undersigned recommend that the District Attorney General 15th Judicial Circuit, State of Tennessee, order an autopsy on the body of Larnell Sanders, deceased. Next of kin of said deceased is Larnell Sanders, address 2239, Shannon. Two, Dorothy Sanders, next of kin, address 2239, Shannon. Lim A.M., date 1-1483. You are hereby notified as next of kin that the undersigned is ordering an autopsy on the body of Larnell Sanders, deceased as provided by law. This autopsy will be performed under the direction of the county medical examiner 
or his deputy as soon as a return of this notice is received. To person serving notice, serve a copy of this notice on say next to kin and make return on the original thereof within 24 hours. In the event said next of kin agrees to the autopsy, attach such agreement here too. That's Hugh Stanton, District Attorney General, 15th Judicial Circuit, State of Tennessee. Return, this notice came to hand on 114.83. Cannot read the time, looks like 9 a.m. And served by reading same to said next of kin on this 114.83 time, 11 a.m. And that looks like that was Sergeant Wheeler. Looks like Bo Wheeler. Order of autopsy to County Medical Examiner, Shelby County, Tennessee, 114.83. You are hereby ordered to perform an autopsy on the body of said Larnell Sanders, deceased as provided by law. Signed by Hugh Stanton, District Attorney General, 15th Judicial Circuit, State of Tennessee. Copies going to the County Coroner, County Medical Examiner, District Attorney General, Homicide, Criminal Court Clerk. Report of investigation by county medical examiner. Now, you can see I've highlighted in red the initial designation of Alpha 1, A1, which Larnell Sanders was identified as A1. This, of course, was before they could properly identify the bodies because you can't pull out somebody's wallet and look at a driver's license and say, okay, this is this person. Identification of a deceased person has to be done by next of kin or... Now, it can be done by someone who's not a relative. For example, Bobby Hester was identified at the morgue by Josh Randall, who was the... Captain Randall was his shift commander. So that was considered acceptable. As you can see, got the wound chart on the right. And at the bottom, probable cause of death, multiple gunshot wounds to the chest and head. Certificate of death, Tennessee Department of Public Health, vital records. Arnell Sanders, date of death, 113.83. Date of birth, December 15, 1955, black male. He was married. Spouse's name, maiden name included Rose Taylor. He's a part-time security guard. His home address was 2239 Shannon. Parents name Lindbergh Sanders and Dorothy Thomas. Mrs. Dorothy Sanders, the one that took possession of the body. Burial was on January 18, 1983, Hollywood Cemetery. J.T. Francisco, M.D. Cause of death, multiple gunshot wounds to chest and head. Was ruled a homicide, 113.83, victim was shot. Now, let me point that out to you. All deaths of this manner, no matter who causes the death, it's a homicide. The question is whether it's a justified homicide or not. It's Homicide Bureau, Memphis Police Department, Homicide Analysis Sheet. It's District 127, Date 113, Correction, r and number is 8301132674. Also got a reference number of 1652.99. Sanders Larnell, Mel Black, 26, R&I number 146478. Now, R&I number, that is his Shelby County Jail number. If you've ever been to jail, you're assigned an R&I number in Shelby County system. 
Home address 2239 Shannon. Date of event 11383, 4.40 a.m. Thursday, 4.40 a.m. Medical Examiner. Date of death 11383, location 2239 Shannon. Address 2239 Shannon Private House. Date report at 11383, 4.40 a.m. Weapon used, M16 rifle. Recovered, yes. Defendant's name, C. Homicide, number 15-529-8. Then down at the bottom, for account of facts, see master file number 8301132672 and homicide number 145296. All right, this is a, another wound chart. As you can see, designating him as A1 Alpha 1, 69 inches tall, 5 foot 9. You've got... Uh, Entrance wound there on the right side of the head. Got it all marked in red. And then another one over the right chest, 54 inches above heel. And at the bottom, describes the clothing that he's wearing. And then, of course, by Dr. Harlan's one it pronounced in the time. And then who, this, who the person was that prepared this chart. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up this episode here. Appreciate my wife's assistance again with the pronunciation of incredibly long Latin words. Makes it sound so much more professional when you have somebody that actually knows how to talk that talk. I do appreciate it. Folks, not much to say. It's pretty nasty business. Anyways, we will be back in a few days with the next autopsy. And I do appreciate y'all tuning in. And as always, I'll see you down the road.